Okay, uh, welcome to another video uh, by me, El Proje. I'm going to show you how to graph linear equations. Uh, this is not the only way to do it, but I'm going to show you one way. One way is to uh, create a table. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, graphing linear equations, when you know the equation and you're going to use a table, come up with a set of numbers or uh, an ordered pair of xy coordinates uh, to graph. See how what the line looks like, okay? And so as you can see, I already made my table there, okay? So I pick the smallest points possible uh, or close to zero. You can pick any points you want, but I pick numbers that are very close, easier to multiply and subtract. So this here is saying 2x, which means 2 times x. So here we're going to put 2 in parentheses. We're going to put what x equals. Well, I'm going to use 0. So 2 times 0 minus 3. So I know 2 times 0 is 0. And so what's 0 minus 3? Well, that's uh, negative 3. Next one. 2 times x. Well, I'm going to put 2 times 1. And I know 2 times 1 is 2. And what's 2 minus 3? Not 3 minus 2, but 2 minus 3, which gives you negative 1. And then next, the last one there, 2 times negative 1 minus 3. 2 times negative 1, positive times negative, use the read man. Uh, positive times negative is negative, so negative 2 minus 3. And you're not too sure here what to do, you can always do KCC. So keep, change, change. And now you have an addition problem, and the rule is same sign add, different sign subtract. So same sign add, so we're going to add 2 plus 3 is 5, and you keep the sign of both numbers, so it's negative 5. And so this is my three uh, set of order, uh, x, y uh, ordered pair. So 0, negative 3, 1, negative 1, and negative 1, 5. So that's what I'm going to graph on my... Uh, on my uh, grid there, okay? So the first point was uh, 0, negative 3. So 0, we don't move horizontally, but then we go down to negative 3. 1, 2, 3. Next point was 1, negative 1. So we're going to go 1 to the right, positive, and then 1 down. And then the last point was negative 1, negative 5. And so we're going to go negative 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and now we're going to connect our points... Uh, by using a straight line. I'm going to make my straight line. As you can see, I made it freehand. Okay. And so that tells me that the problem is linear. Linear, but not does it cross the origin. Look at the line. As you can see, it doesn't cross the origin there. The origin is over here. So that means it's linear but not proportional, okay? So we're going to put but not proportional. Linear but not proportional because the line does not cross the origin. It's linear but it doesn't cross the origin, okay? And you can see that. So uh, hopefully this helps and uh, you can finish the rest of the assignment. Adios. Tengo buen día.